Joining us now with reaction is House Minority Whip Steve Scalise, Fox News contributor Sarah Carter, and American Conservative Union Chairman Matt Schlapp. Thank you uh, for the three of you for, for joining us. Uh, Whip Scalise, I want to start with you. You're in the House uh, uh, leadership there in, in the House of Representatives. Uh, give us more insight what Kevin McCarthy was briefed on, what are members hearing and talking about, and why in the world would Nancy Pelosi put our nation at risk? They, there were 200 plus Democrats they could have picked, but they picked one who was sleeping with a Chinese spy. Yeah, Jason, you just can't make this stuff up. And I mean, you served in the House. You know how hard it is to get on the House Intelligence Committee. And here's a guy who was compromised back when he was a council member in California before he was elected to Congress, targeted by the Chinese, uh, ended up not only having a, some kind of relationship with a Chinese spy, but she actually infiltrated his office with other Chinese spies. And then he gets on the Intel Committee in his second term. Look, there are more questions than there are answers right now. And Speaker Pelosi won't answer these direct questions. Why is he still on the committee? He absolutely needs to be removed from the committee. But it makes you wonder. And, and look, Clearly, the House Democrats have a China problem. They have been soft on China on so many fronts, but we were about to put together a bipartisan commission to look into China's activities about a year ago, and Speaker Pelosi pulled the plug on it. We went forward anyway. Kevin McCarthy pointed Mike McCall as the leader. He put out a blistering report that identified all kind of problems that China has caused here in the United States. But it begs the question, why did Pelosi pull back on that China commission? Why does she keep Swalwell on the committee? What's really going on with China that they have this blind eye towards the espionage that has infiltrated members of Congress who will serve on the House Intelligence Committee? Yeah, you look at what's going on in Northern California, this greater San Francisco Bay Area. You know, Dianne Feinstein had a, had a spy embedded with her, her organization for, for a years. long time. For 20 years. Uh, and, and why Eric Swalwell is even appointed there in the first place, I think is one of the big questions the media needs to continue to ask. Now, we got to walk and chew gum at the same time, Sarah, because we also have this Biden family scandal going on and the potential appointment of a special counsel. But the, I, to hear the media talk about, oh, no, there's no need over here. Why we even bother with that? Oh. But the Democrats, Jason, didn't care. So for four years, they drug the Trump administration through every bit of dirt that they could. They took everybody that surrounded President Trump and they targeted them with an unvalidated uh, dossier that came from a British spy that took information from Russian spies. And now we see the information on China. Look, China and Russia both, but particularly China, plays a long game. The Chinese intelligence uh, operations in the United States are vast. And what we're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg. You brought up Senator Dianne Feinstein. We see how they started a long time ago with Representative Swalwell when he was just in the city council. And it makes me wonder how many more people are in China's pocket. And remember, China can go after not just Joe Biden on these economic issues, but they look at his son as a potential target to take Biden as well. Because they can shake down his son. We don't know what happened. We don't have enough information there. There absolutely must be an investigation. This is potentially the most damaging thing that could happen to the United States. And Kevin McCarthy is 100 percent right on this. There absolutely must be an investigation because it goes far beyond Hunter Biden. This is not just about him. This is about our country. This is about his father. And this is about the potential damaging impact that the Chinese have inside the Democratic Party. Well, and it also goes, when we talk about the Biden family, not only does it go to Hunter Biden, but it also goes to Joe Biden's brother, Jim. And, and, and you have to look over to Ukraine. You have to also look over to China. It just seems to be never endings. That's why I want to bring in Matt Schlapp. Now, Matt, it's your birthday. So birthday boy, I want to give you a chance to answer these questions uh, because what's going on between Eric Swalwell and the Biden family, I mean, they're not off to a great start. Well, Jason, this is what happens in a republic when you don't have a free and honest media. The Democrats get such a pass by 90 percent of the national media that they think they can get away with damn near everything. Think about this. The Intelligence Committee and people like Sarah Carter warned us its purpose is to make sure our nation is safe from foreign attacks and those who want to destroy America. Instead, the Democrats used the Intelligence Committee 
to do everything they could to block President Trump and to ultimately use that committee to impeach him. It became the ultimate DNC committee instead of for its central purpose. And so the Democrats lost their credibility on this question of national security when they used our national security apparatus as a, as, as a cudgel against their enemies. And this is the same problem for Joe Biden. He didn't have to answer one question. He didn't have to have any press conferences while he ran for president. And so a lot of things weren't given scrutiny. I think when the American people read these texts and see all of this effort to profit off Joe Biden's positions in government, I think it's going to be very problematic. Joe Biden, if, he, if he's to be the president, he starts was such a shadow over his presidency because of the illicit voting in the last election. But now you have this central question about is there corruption with the way he and his son and his brother have uh, uh, organized this business venture. And here's how you solve it politically. You know this, Jason. So get in front of the campers, cameras and answer all the questions. If they don't answer any of the questions, if they keep avoiding this, it makes people think that they don't have very good answers. Well, only holding uh, weekly uh, press briefings, and even then they just pick the five or six reporters, handpick the ones that they want, and I saw an article for the first That's time right. today where people actually started to complain. But the ones that will actually also really make a difference, Steve Scalise, is a special counsel. Do you support a special counsel? How does the Department of Justice actually administer justice? Something I really haven't seen for a while, by the way, but how do they get that to happen? Yeah, Jason, first let me say happy birthday to my buddy Matt Schlapp. Uh, but look, there needs to be a special <laughs> counsel because there are so many questions out there that need to be answered. And these are serious national security questions. You know, when you look at what's going on with Swalwell, Swalwell, by the way, has never been shy to get in front of a camera. So the fact that he's avoiding the press tells you there's something serious going on there. Again, why he's still on the Intelligence Committee boggles the mind. Uh, but then with Hunter Biden, more things continue to come out. You go back to the first presidential debate. President Trump brought up some of this stuff, and Joe Biden denied that there was even anything going on with Hunter Biden in China uh, or Russia. And now you're seeing even more things that there's actually an investigation going on. Uh, look, there, there are a lot of serious questions that are being raised that should have been answered, by the way, uh, to Matt's point. If there, was, if there was an aggressive press out there doing their job on both sides, they went after Trump on things that turned out not to be true, and they impeached him on something that never even happened. Frankly, the things that they were accusing Trump of, they were doing themselves. The spy activity was sure. Chinese spies infiltrating Democrats, not Russian spies infiltrating Republicans. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan personally of special counsels, but I think this one merits it given the broad scope of the Biden family and where we're at with the election and whatnot. I really do think it happens. Matt Schlapp, happy birthday. Sorry to get you all riled up talking about Biden's uh, for the birthday boy there, but happy birthday to you. <laughs> I get Happy to go birthday, celebrate Matt. now. <laughs> yes, good, good. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, Congressman Scalise, Sarah Carter, thank you to you as well. But thanks for all three of you.